welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So the title says it all. I went straight to Google, went right to Pinterest and I didn't find a single house. <laughs> I scrolled for about a solid minute or so and then I was like, you know what, this isn't working. So I went to my Pinterest board that I have for YouTube and then I started playing around with it so that it would change up my algorithm a little bit. I went into some of my house folders and started just adding random things to them. And I just pinned a couple things so that it would start adding houses back into my feed. And then I closed everything out, refreshed everything, and here is what popped up. Surprisingly, the very first pin on my homepage was a house. And so this is what we're looking at. It's a country house. It looks really cute. So there's actually a bunch of different design inspiration pictures. So I'm gonna actually go off of these. This is not what I expected to get with this, but it's perfect. So I'm gonna go off of these pictures and see what I can make. Okay guys, so here I am starting on the building. I am doing a voiceover because I realized pretty quickly that this was actually going to take a really long time to build. So you can see in the picture, there's like paneling on the sides of the walls, which you can't use with the coloring because it's not an option. Um, so all of that was custom, that took forever. The windows had to be custom because I couldn't find something that was exactly like that and also the roofs have windows on them which you know you can't add at least I don't think you can you can't add um windows to the sides of roofs so all of those had to be custom I had to use the little wedges for that as you guys saw and then of course these side things over here so here I am just making the roof I used the same technique that I used for the last video that I made where I built the house from the summer I turned pretty actually it's not the last video the one before that um but I did the same sort of designs on the roof and the side like paneling not paneling the side that thing that you're looking at right now so that took forever the whole recording for the front of this house literally just the front was an hour and a half long and I cut it down to four minutes for this video so that's how you know so I just kind of wanted to show you how I ended up doing everything so this roof right here in the front um, is had to be custom because if you can see in the picture that arch right there was see-through so that means I couldn't use the regular just normal roof option and then I also ended up making the sides of that custom as well as you can see that took forever for me to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it but I felt like that looked the most correct and then I decided to just mirror the structure of the front of the house into the back I made it a, like pretty small it's not it's not a big house by any means and then I just wrapped the roof around the side here as you can see and then I started working on that top little piece up there, which of course isn't actually accessible in the house. I'm sure you could make it. No. <laughs> There's literally a roof down the middle of it. You can't make it accessible. I mean, you could. You could figure it out. I just added some little markings. Uh, I don't know what to call that. On the side and then the same structure thing that's on all of the roofs and then added some paneling again kind of touched up the roofs then i started adding these custom windows once again all i did was put these structure like pieces down the middle of it it's super easy and then i started working on the porch right here I don't really like the way that these little bush thingies turned out, but I did what I could. Then I added railings. I just kind of touched up what I was doing with the foundation, well, the fake foundation. And then I started working on the side over here. I decided I was gonna fence it all in, of course. Put some more windows on the front. A lot of the windows are different sizing, so as you can see, I kind of had to go in and customize them. And then I added the paneling on the side, which you can also see how expensive that was. This ended up being a lot more expensive than I thought. Um, and then I started working on the inside. So the way that I did it originally, I ended up shifting everything to the right eventually. So the entryway turned out a little bit different, which you will see in the end, but I decided I was going to put an office right there. And then here I actually started working on the entryway based on the picture. So like I said, I ended up shifting everything to the, well, I guess now straight forward. I don't know, whatever angle you're looking at it. Um, so I changed it up a little bit, like I said, but here I wanted to try and add that blanket, which kind of looks funny now that I'm looking at it but I did what I could with what I had 
and now we're in the kitchen so this one was super simple um yeah i don't really have much to say about it i decided to put a little farmhouse sink on the left there which is why i left it empty and then now i'm just working on the hood i ended up just using i think a brick texture for the wallpaper there and then a regular subway tile that i found just on the catalog so i don't think you can find them in my own inventory if you were wondering and then i started working on this little mud room kind of laundry room situation here i tried working on like a little custom bench thing over there so it's more of a couch not really a bench and then i just did some once again custom things around the washing machine here and now i'm working on the living room so i made a couple changes to okay at, actually at this point is where i started making changes to the um actual layout i decided i was going to put the living room right here and i didn't really have enough room so i shifted everything back as you can see there's an extra square um but i ended up filling a wall in over there so it, it looked less i don't know it looks kind of awkward at this point um once again this is a custom chair i included the whole thing for you guys to watch but just very simple i added a weird pillow i really wish there were pillows in the game because that looks so funny this blanket especially looks funny um i don't really have much to say about it, it just doesn't look right and then i added a garland as you can see in the reference picture there looks like there's a little bit of a garland situation on the fireplace i don't know and then i added the paneling once again because you can see in the reference photo that that's there and then I started working on the dining room. This one was super simple. Um, the only custom things I really did were on the chair, which you will see. So I added some lighting, changed around some colors, and then I started working on the chair because you can see there's the pillow on it. And once again, there's no pillows in Bloxburg, so I kind of had to get creative. And then that garland thing is also in the center of this table. So I just did something with these fake garland tree things i don't know kind of interesting i made my fake little vases in the middle there they kind of resemble those candle holders i don't know but then i moved on to the office space which i decided to add which wasn't a reference picture so all of this i just made by myself you can see i super simple i didn't do much to it but it has a door to the garage so that's how you will get there And then I moved on upstairs working on the layout. For some reason, you can see those walls on the edge are unfinished. Um, I had to just go in and add basic shapes to fill in the wall there. I think it was because I had like wall moldings on uh, like wall trims. That's what I mean. So I couldn't add walls for some reason. I don't know, kind of annoying. But then I moved on to the bedroom. You can see I put the wrong bed in the beginning, but I fixed it. Um, yeah, I had to make a custom bed once again for the pillows. So I just added a basic block in the middle of it. And then I worked around that. You kept having to move the bed backwards though. If you're going to do this by yourself, you can't put anything on the bed while the bed is there if that makes sense so here i am just adding more pillows once again and then the blanket adding a little bit of decoration and then i went in and added the tray that you can see there i ended up just putting one little decal and then a mug on there and then again on the side table and then once again i had to add these little things going down the wall because every single room that they liked had that and then i moved on to the first bathroom which you will see at the end of this this is the last video that i actually ended up recording i don't know what happened to the rest of my videos but i made two other bedrooms and then one other bathroom the third bedroom that i made was just a kid's room not based on any pictures or anything but yeah so you can't see that so let's just get right into the tour so this is how it turned out i actually really like it i think it looks 
really good. Um, you will notice though that those vertical paneling things, I didn't continue around the rest of the house because it was just so tedious and I was just, I was done with it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of unfinished looking, but I do really like the way that those panels look in the end. I feel like it completes it. Like it just, it looks so much more realistic. And I think the roof right here looks really good. There's not much up here, but I just did what the picture had. The door is kind of short, which is kind of funny, but yeah. So when you walk in here, I filled in all the decals. I think it actually looks really cute. I didn't know how all of these rooms would work together, but I think they look pretty fine. Um, I like how the dining table looks. The garland in the middle actually doesn't look very bad. Um, the black and white pictures are kind of creepy. I just found them from the catalog. I didn't upload any myself, but here's the kitchen I think it looks so cute. I love the brick wall accent um, Again, I wasn't sure how that would look in this house, but it matches the wood and the chairs perfectly I didn't add a whole lot of decor here um, But those wood things right there are cutting boards um, <laughs> I literally just looked up pictures of wood because I didn't feel like uploading my own and here is the living room. Uh, yeah, the blanket still looks weird. I like how the fireplace turned out. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if I completely did it correctly, but yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. And then over here, we have the finished mud room, laundry room, mud room. I don't know. It's super simple, but I think it looks really nice and clean. And then here we have the office, which again, super, super simple. I kind of just tried to keep with the vibe of the rest of the house. And then here's the garage. I turned the lights off. I don't know why, um, but I didn't end up filling anything in. I put this shelf over here and then I completely forgot until I started touring that I can, like, I, I just forgot to fill it in. And then I made a little bit of an outside area off camera. So again, I didn't do much to it. I just put a little porch swing and then um, an outdoor table and that area back there with the grill. Um, I'm not sure why. I wasn't really gonna fill anything in and then I just decided to last second and then I got, I ran out of money. So here's where that entryway is. It ended up being blocked off a little bit because of the changes that I made, but I think it still looks fine. And then here's a little bit of a landing area. And then here is the master bedroom that you did see me build. I put a little bit of an entrance in here because of the way that it was shaped. I thought it looked better. But yeah, here's just a little dresser area and then the bed, that's how it turned out. I think it looks fine. I really like the way that the custom beds actually end up looking. They always look funny in the beginning, but I think it makes a big difference than just the regular beds. And then here is the bathroom. The reference picture didn't really have a lot of detail or anything. Um, I kind of just like loosely based a lot of these rooms on the reference picture, but I think they turned out pretty good. And then back here we have the second bedroom. It's very tight, but you didn't see me build it. Once again, the reference picture wasn't that much anyway, so I just kind of recreated the bed. And then the let's cuddle sign that was on top of the bed, I ended up putting over there because of the windows. And then here's the second bathroom, which is, I just used the same kind of coloring and everything as the other one. But yeah, there wasn't a reference picture for this. And then there also wasn't a picture for this, but I had this really small bedroom. So I decided to make a kid's room. Super simple, but I think it's actually really cute. I really like how it turned out. Um, but yeah, so then I just showed you this room again on accident, but you already knew that was there. Um, so yeah, that was the entire house. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it was very much a surprise what I was gonna get. And I ended up getting actually a really good pin because I had reference pictures for a bunch of rooms. It was definitely more expensive than I wanted it, but yeah. Subscribe if you have not already. All my social medias are linked in the description. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.